You're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Michelle Seeger. Hampton Roads Pride wants to show us how love unites at this year's Black Party and Pride Fest. And with a week of Pride events leading up to the ultimate celebrations on June 17th and 18th, love will have plenty of chances here to bring the community together. Nicole Thurston and Michael Berlucci are here from Hampton Roads Pride, and they're going to give us the inside scoop. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Great now, to be here. Michael, I'd love for you to give us a little background. Tell us what's the purpose of these events. Sure. Well, I'm glad you asked, Michelle. It's, you know, this community has long been marginalized. And for a long time, um, we felt, um, in many ways, the opposite of pride about our identity and about our community. There was a lot of shame imposed um, on us, and, and really that came internally about our sexual orientation or gender identity. And so um, this, this series of events are really a celebration. It's really meant to um, empower people, um, to make people feel better about them, themselves, and also um, provide a platform uh, of visibility about our community um, and, and allies of our community. So how does that play into the Love Unites theme for this year? Sure. Well, of course, by some great coincidence, last last year at Pride Fest, the Supreme Court um, re released its you know landmark ruling, which made um, you know marriage equality the law of the land. And so we are embracing that theme because we really do feel that love unites people, um, no matter uh, no matter what your background, socioeconomic status. Love is a is a common denominator for for everyone. Um, however. Um, there are some realities about um, about our community. Even though we can get married, um, we can be um, you know fired from our jobs or denied housing. So um, love does unite us, but we have a long way to go. Definitely, and I think um, love for one another is a, a whole nother thing. Now, uh, have you briefed the Supreme Court that uh, we're expecting another landmark ruling? This year? <laughs> I haven't had a chance. No. Uh -uh. Someone's going to need to give them yeah. a call. Yeah, I'll let the cold take oh, Okay. Out. Come on, guys. Pride weekend. Let's go. <laughs> now, speaking of, now, we, we definitely do have some confirmed things that are going to go on we do. for the weekend. We do. We have, uh, as always, we have our family uh, atmosphere where we will have uh, the mobile glass blowing studio from Chrysler Museum so that the families can watch how glass artwork is made. We will have um, carnival themed jugglers, cyclists, unicycles for the children entertainment along with child friendly games in our family friendly atmosphere. But in the park itself we'll also have our LGBT history um, center along with showcasing local vendors, food trucks, and uh, two stages of entertainment. One will be a club pride with local DJs and artists and then we'll have our main stage with our headliner. And who is that? Our headliner is Betty Who. And we will also have a special guest appearance by country star Billy Gilman. That'll be great. It's going to be wonderful. So between, I mean, between food and dancing and everything to do for the kids, how much am I paying to get into this? Not a dollar. It's free and open to all. Nice. That's a beautiful thing. So Pride Fest and then there's the block party. How do they differ and how are they sort of the same? Sure. Well, the the block party is 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 our um, you know nighttime dance event. So while Pride Fest has a lot of educational components, this incredible family friendly component, um, lots of activities, different activities for all types of people. Um, you know, booths uh, featuring nonprofit groups and some of our corporate sponsors and. and um, so many different components at Townport Park during the day. The block party is just an all-out, crazy, fun dance party. But it's open to everyone, including all ages. Um, but it's uh, this year it'll be on June 17th at Norfolk Scope Arena. We have a great DJ we brought in from D.C. Um, and I can assure you it's going to be one of the most uh, complex you know, light and laser shows Hampton Roads has ever seen. Um, so we'll be on the floor of Scope Arena, just um, you know, dancing our hearts out that night. Open to all ages? Yeah. Because my 10-year-old is a party animal. He would dance it down. Well, come on. Right? We, we, had a, we had a younger child just take the main stage yeah. last year, and he was yeah. a hit dancer. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like so much Dancing fun. Dancing is liberating, actually. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Yeah, it's Absolutely. So, um, and there's this, and this whole, is our fifth week, annual. whole week of events leading up, too. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, such, so much to do and so many wonderful family events. You can learn more about that um, whole week of, act of, of activities at HamptonRoadsPride.org. And see, that's a perfect way to close it up. Visit HamptonRoadsPride.org for up-to-the-minute details about everything going on that week. For Hot Ticket, I'm Michelle Seeger.